So when it comes to implementation of MDM, and if you wanna do it quickly, there's a few easy steps that I can recommend, and I've seen this work over and over and over. If you have identified your use cases, if you have identified funding and you've got the money to go and do MDM, follow these steps. Number one, find a use case that can be supported through a 360 degree view of something. Take an analytical approach to a phase one MDM initiative. This could be a customer 360 or a product 360, but we're focusing on creating a single view of something. Be razor focused on managing for scope. Don't break every silo, maybe break a couple of silos. A great place to look, particularly customer data, would be maybe breaking a silo that exists between a CRM system and an ERP system. Find ways to bring and develop that 360 view of something that can be used for a certain use case. A great place to look here would be something like a cross-seller, upseller, identification of white space, or other use cases more in the sales and marketing realm where those stakeholders are struggling with a lack of a single view of a customer. If you keep your, nar your scope narrow, if you focus on more of an MVP, minimum viable product type of approach, you don't try to boil the ocean, you don't try to break every, every silo, if you focus on those analytical use cases, you can be up and running in weeks and driving significant value for your organization. Yeah.